Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while um, since I've done one of these videos, a what sold over the weekend video. So today is Monday and I'm going to be wrapping with you Saturdays and Sunday sales and going over what sold for this past weekend. And so I am a full-time reseller. If you've been watching my videos, you already know that. Um, I do videos on reselling and then like just beauty videos and stuff like that. So if you are interested in something like that, um, please subscribe, like comment my, on my videos and check out the description if you wanna see um, what my Poshmark or eBay store is or if you are interested in possibly having a little side hustle and selling some of your things around the house because really you could just find 10 things around your house that you no longer need, use, or want and throw them up on Posh or eBay just to get things rolling and have a little side hustle. So without further ado, these are the sales that I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine sales and I think it was like $300, not too much, but I mean, you know, for the weekend. So the first thing I sold were these two pairs of earrings. All my earrings on Poshmark are buy one, get one free. Um, and what you do is you bundle them and I send you the buy one, get one free offer. The buy one, get one free offer is just basically if something is $25, you could bundle two pieces for $25 and get one free. So if you bundle two things for $25, I'm sending you a $25 offer. And of course, if you could um, you know, figure that out, you could also send me a $25 offer, which I will accept. And that, it, that goes the same for uh, jewelry that's $15 and $10. Most of my jewelry, it used to be 10 and 15, but you know, inflation, things go up cost of my wrapping materials and envelopes and such go up so i made my ten dollars recently my ten dollar uh, earrings and jewelry are now 15. um so basically you get two for 15. two for 15 is great um because then that's 750 each which is still cheaper than going to the mall so yes all my jewelry that is 30 dollars and under are buy one get one free and that's how the buy one get one free works put it in your cart Send me the offer highest price obviously first so you could um you could buy a 25 dollar piece of jewelry and a 15 dollar piece of jewelry and they would be 25 dollars for both so that is how that works i have been having a lot of people kind of confused so i think maybe i'm not wording it right because i do have people comment and just simply ask on um on my poshmark what is bound getting for me and I always like to think of it um, like grocery store, like we've all been to the grocery store and I would think partook on um, buy one, get one free. So this is going Kentucky and these are two pairs of earrings that sold um, and they were $15. So I sent her a $15 offer for both and I buy it in bulk. So the next, I will insert a picture somewhere. These are some African Village, um, African Village yoga pants slash workout pants and this lady bundled them they were thirty dollars and she bundled then a pair of fifteen dollar heart earrings she was only interested in one pair of earrings uh which is fine and then the pants were 30 and so i actually sent her a 30 dollar offer on poshmark going to texas like everything else i feel like everything goes to texas um and so i sent her a 30 dollar a $30 offer in which she accepted. So she basically, she got a pair of heart Hallmark vintage earrings. And then the African village pants were from earthbound. And so she got both pieces for $30. Keep in mind that Poshmark and eBay take a 20% commission because I do promotions and all that. So it's 20, 20%. So when I say something sold, um, for 30, I'm actually only profiting 80%. Okay, so the next are another pair of earrings. And this was just one pair of mod cloth earrings, vintage, and she just wanted one pair of earrings. And so I gave her a second pair for free, I, which were the ladybugs. Um, she didn't ask for a free pair or anything like that, but I definitely do not want her to get the one pair that she paid full price $15 I profited 12 and going to New York um sometimes I've had people buy one outright and then they get it and they ask where their free pair is so if they do not choose a free pair I usually choose but I don't always have an extra pair um that hasn't been listed yet 
to choose. Why is it that open? Okay. Um, and so sometimes I just give like something else, whether it's like stickers or something else, because there are times that I've given free um, a second pair of free earrings and I've had people very upset about it that they only wanted one pair. So you really just don't know, like, you know, the whole, you can't, you can't make everyone happy. You truly cannot make everyone happy because if I don't add a second pair of earrings, they're leaving me a negative feedback asking where their second pair of free earrings are. And if I do add a pair, they're asking why I sent them because they don't want them. And I've had ladies or men or whoever bought them. I've had people return the free pair. Like they were, they paid to return it even. They were that adamant about, look, I don't want these. Again, you can't make everyone happy. You do the best you can like everybody else. Okay, drop that label. And those earrings, like I said, were 15. I profited 12. All right, so the next is a Spanx bra. I had this Spanx bra listed for 40 and um, it retails for $72 for one bra. So many times people go to the secondhand market to, um, to look for, you know, expensive bras. So this bra, like I said, retailed for 72. I had it listed for 40 and the lady offered a $36 offer, which I gladly accepted. I pay $249 per bra. Again, I took a $36 offer and I got 20% of that though, which is still great in my book, Illinois. And that's one to Illinois. So, okay, this was kind of a bad buy. This is going to San Francisco. And this is a kind of a Y2K look. And it is, let's see, what is the brand? It is by, here we go, Carolina Blues, which I think that's a department store. I kind of feel, I like the corset part in the back. Um, I kind of feel like this is maybe early 2000s and it has some rose embroidery on it and it's just some short alls. And I think, I kind of feel like I bought them for myself thinking that I would be able to pull it off and I am a middle-aged woman and I know you could wear whatever the heck you want, but I felt like a fool in these overalls and they're just short, short overalls, but, um, maybe it's just giving, um, Oshkosh Bagosh vibes from when I was like a really little kid and I wore overalls, but, um, I think you have to be younger to wear overalls and feel your best because I did not feel my best. Okay. So they are really cool and I was really happy that someone came and brought them and they brought them for, I believe, $50 and I received $20, 20, 20%, um, 20% cost took and I received that profit. And for overalls, I believe I spent $5.99. Um, overalls at Goodwill are dress prices but that is only here in North Carolina because recently when I was in Texas, they're not going to Texas, they're going to San Francisco, California, but same with California. What I hear is, <clears throat> excuse me, um, North Carolina still uses a flat rate for um, Goodwill prices. Like all shirts are $4.99 and all dresses and overalls are $5.99 and it doesn't matter the brand, but Every place that I've ever sourced and bought things to resell for my business in different states have never been that way. And I've sourced in all throughout Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, um, Georgia, South Carolina. I've sourced, um, I've sourced Florida. I've sourced in many states and nothing comes close to North Carolina prices. Okay, next is a Cynthia Rowley, and originally this was from probably Marshalls or CJ Maxx, and it's kind of a Parisian, 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 a scene from, no, well, maybe not Paris. It's a European scene. It's a European of some form, and it is a plus size 3X, 100% linen top. Um, and I love picking up linen. I really pick up linen. It doesn't matter the brand. I cannot leave linen behind. I love linen. I have some pieces that I rarely wear. I love seeing linen on other people, 
and actually, which is really weird, I still remember the first time I saw linen as a kid on a lady that passed me. I remember asking my aunt, what's that that she's wearing? And um, my aunt said a dress. And I said, no, I mean like what it's made out of. And I don't know, maybe 10, 11 years old. But uh, yeah, I like linen. Anyways, this linen shirt sold for 35 and it is going to Alabama. So, okay, next are two Victoria's Secret bras. I took a $50 offer. They were each listed for $30 each on Posh. And I think they're like 34D, a good size. I already have them in here, but they're just underwire Victoria's Secret bras, which I think retail for $50 to $60 at the mall. And um, someone bundled both. I pick up bras in all sizes, but the band, the smallest band size I pick up is 34 because 30, 28, and 32 just don't seem to sell for me. So I just picked those up, I think, a week ago, going to Wyoming. And I had them for $30 each, which is a little bit on the high side. Normally, I price my bras at about $20 or $25. Um, they were like new. And so she bundled them in Poshmark for $60. And then she offered me $50, which I gladly accepted. And for bras, I paid $249. So that was a really good profit off to Wyoming. Yeah. All right. So I got two more things to wrap. Okay, so next, um, hot cotton. I love picking up hot cotton. Does anyone else pick up hot cotton? It feels like linen, but, um, but it's cotton. Yeah, it's cotton. So this is a hot cotton. I said that wrong. Excuse me. Mom brain. Hot cotton is the brand, and it's a blue tunic. Even though hot cotton is the brand, it is a linen top. It's a nice royal blue linen top. And she sold for $35. And I believe that was uh, that was on eBay. And I usually send 10% offers. I had it listed for $39. And um, I sent an offer. And she paid $35. So that is going to Alabama. Mobile Alabama. And uh, yeah, I love hot cotton. My daughter is also a full-time reseller. And she does not have luck selling hot cotton. So when she finds it, she'll give it to me. And then I will sell it. And vice versa. There's certain brands that I can't move for the life of me but she can so i swear people that buy secondhand they will profile you they'll look at your picture and decide whether they want to buy from you that's what it seems like anyways because why else would someone not buy from one person um and buy from the other person the same thing i don't get it but it happens all the time so i don't know maybe it's best just to have like a color or an animal on your profile picture so, okay, so the last thing that sold was this Austin Reed blazer. And this is a vintage Austin Reed blazer. And it's just a, do I have it? Okay. It's just a khaki Austin Reed blazer, but Austin Reed blazer. And I think it was a medium, a medium. The buttons are really nice. And this is a perfect example right here going to Maryland. This is a perfect example of, um, I think, 50. Um, sold for 50, $50, and I think I had it for 60. But this is a perfect example of when I pick up Austin Reed, I did pick it up in February, and here it is June. So it did, you know, have a few months to sit on it. So if you are a reseller that likes to buy things and have them moved out in like a month or two, then don't pick up Austin Reed. But um, it's very well made, and I just don't wanna leave it behind. But this is an example of a brand that my daughter would never pick up because she's tried in the past and they just sit for her. But um, this is the second Austin Reed blazer that I've sold. And I actually have, I think, a camel hair one still listed. So I do pick them up. And again, yeah, that's like a 50. So that, wow, that's going to fall. Those were all my sales. All right, just let it fall. Those were all my sales. Um, how have your sales been? If you are a reseller, I feel scattered. Haven't had coffee yet. Thank you for sticking with me. If you are still 14 minutes in, I appreciate it. So comment, like, and share. And if you are a reseller, what is selling for you? Because right now I feel like it's all over the place. I do only sell jewelry on Poshmark. I don't sell it on eBay because generally I buy on eBay and flip it on Posh. And sometimes I buy on Posh and flip it on eBay. So if I'm not sourcing out and about, then I'm sourcing like on one of the platforms to flip it on the other. Um, whatever it takes to keep it off the landfill, that's all. 
but really is all that matters. So thank you so much for watching and I will be back next week with another one. Take care and bye-bye.